all right this is a video on cube roots uh, this is video number 13 it's a part one of four i divided the video in four section and this is the first section and in this section I ex we explore the first principles and how do we use that we do develop a observation table here which we, we would explore further in the next section let's continue Okay, let's look at outline here. We would discuss these uh, topic in various sections. First is first principles, then is some more. Okay. Continue. What's cube root here? We'll discuss uh, first principles first. Cube is when we multiply a number by itself twice, we get a cube of that number. Let's continue. If n over a measure of the length, volume of a cube of length n is n cubed because n cubed represents volume of a cube of length, we call it a cube of length n. Thus, n cube is call n times n times n. We multiply n by itself twice more. Okay, let's continue. That's from Glover's book. Okay, let's continue here. A cube root is is the reverse of cubing to determine cube root of n we need to find the length of a cube with the volume of n a cube root of n is solution of the equation x cubed equals n let's discuss first principles as they relate to a cubes and cube roots let's continue here to study first principles, look at the first 10 cubes given below. Let's continue here. Uh, if n, here's the, for n, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up to 10, I have these cubes. For n equals 1, cube is 1. For n equals 2, its cube is 8. A cube of 3 is 27. A cube of 4 is 64. A cube of 5 is 125 q of 6 is 216 and that of 7 is 343 and cube of 8 is 512 and cube of 9 is 729 and cube of 10 is 1000 let's continue here so let's make observations here when ends in 1 and cube ends in 1 okay when n ends in 4 n cube ends of 4, when n ends in 5, n cube ends in 5, when n ends in 6, its cube also ends in 6, when n ends in 9, its cube ends in 9, and when n ends in 0, its cube ends in 3 zeros, okay? When n ends in 2, its cube ends in 8, and n, when n ends in 8 is cube ends in 2 so look at symmetry here 2 8 and 8 and 2 8 plus 2 is 10 and 8 plus 2 is 10 2 plus 8 is 10 okay when n ends in a 3 is cube ends in a 7 when n ends in a 7 it's cube ends in a 3 7 plus 3 is a 10 3 plus 7 is a 10 3 plus 7 is a 10 let's continue when n ends in a 2 and cube ends in 8 from here. When n ends in a 3 and cube ends in a 7 from here. When n ends in a 4 and cube ends in a 4. Okay, let's continue. When n ends in a 5 and cube ends in With the first principles. We already discussed uh, when n ends in 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's continue. When n ends in a 6, n cubed n ends in 6. When n ends in a 7, n cubed ends in a 3. When n ends in 8, n cubed ends in a 2. When n ends in a 9, n cubed also ends in a 9. When n ends in a 0 and cubed ends in three zeros. Okay, let's continue. Now, let's continue with the first principles here again. Uh, 
in other words 1 4 5 6 and a 9 and a 0 repeat in cube ending so if a number ends in 1 4 5 6 9 and it are 0 <coughs> its cube also ends in the same digits okay when n ends in a tube and cube ends in a 4 and when n ends in 8 and cube ends in a 2 where 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. Similarly when n ends in a 3 and cube ends in a 7 and when n ends in a 7 and cube ends in a 3 where 7 plus 3 is 10. Let's continue here. Each block of 3 digits are part thereof results in one digit of cube root. So, okay, each block of three digits are part thereof results in a one digit of cube root. Let us continue here. First digit of cube root would be obvious from the first block of the cubes. So, the first here is leftmost. So, first digit of the cube root would be obvious from the first block of the cube. Okay. And last digit of cube root would be obvious from the last digit of the cube. The last here is rightmost. Let us continue. Now continue with first principle still. Okay. From these we can quickly determine the first digit which is we call F, the last digit denoted by L, and the number of digits denoted by N of a resulting cube root. So if there is a we have perfect cube we can determine first last digits and number of digits of that cube root. Let's continue here. So for example cube root of 226981 2 blocks of 3 so n is a 2 226 is between 6 cubed and 7 cubed, 6 cubed is 216 and 7 cubed is 343. So f is a 6. From this last digit 1, last digit of the cube root is 1. Let's continue here. So for cube root of 4657, 463, first digit of the cube root is 1. <coughs> 4 is between 1 cubed and 2 cubed. 2 cubed is 8, 1 cubed is 1, and 3 is, uh, when digit ends in 3, its cube root ends in 7, okay? So, last is a 7, and number of digits in the cube root is 3. Let's continue here. Let's look at another one. 83, 453, 453. So, first digit is 4 because 83 is between 64 and 125. And from 3 here, last digit of the cube root is 7. And number of blocks is 1, 2, 3. That's number of digits in the cube root. And for cube root of 6, 7, 0, 5, 2, 9, 3, 6, 6, 8, 7, 9, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks. So, number n is 5. If the 6 is still between 1 and 8, so first digit is 1 and last digit is 7. <coughs> For cube roots of 91, 003, 3553, 992, we have 4 blocks. Leftmost is uh, between 64 and 125, so left digit is 4, right digit from 2 is 8, and number of digits is 4. Let's continue here. So, first digit is 4 and it's 8. Last digit is 8 and number of digits is 4. Let's continue.
some references here. First reference is my teacher's manual, uh, teacher's manual one, which is by Ken Williams, and you can get PDF form for free and print form for purchase from Vedic Math site, VedicMath.org, which is Vedic Math Academy's site. Let's continue here. Now then, Kirtaji's book, and which is a main reference for uh, the uh, use of polynomials and also by observations. Okay, continue here. Vedic Math for Schools is three volumes and has covered most of the topics in Vedic Math. It's a Glover's book and he uses his books in his school. Let's continue here. And one of the singles book covers most of the uh, topics in Vedic Math. And then it's a Bhatia's book and that is a, has a very uh, quite a few collections of uh, decent examples of the by observations. Okay? Q group by observation and that's it.